back to the lab and today uh, we have a review of a previously built power supply that video didn't really go good uh, at the time of filming I think we have about 35 views on part 1 and part 2 uh, I, I don't think people realize how cool this power supply is so I decided to make another video so essentially what we have is we got two electrodes here and there so one two and uh, this is our ground aka negative and this is our positive uh, so conventional current electrons come out from here there electron flow from negative uh, to positive whatever you choose yes there's two types of currents conventional and electron flow don't ask I know um, yeah so pretty much high voltage is really dangerous you should not attempt anything like this at home whatsoever if you're a child and you want to try something like this please have a adult supervision a high voltage uh, causes plasma to appear which causes highest degree burns so pretty much if you touch it it's gonna stain really really bad and it will hurt like nothing else on this planet so uh, very simple setup you got a on off switch here I was really hoping it's gonna turn it on so we have a on off switch here which uh, turns on the power supply you can hear the fan go uh, this switch here is turning on the ZVS if you want to know how to build this power supply there's gonna be part one and part two somewhere on screen I really hope and uh, yeah if you want to build something with this it's pretty easy there's a ATX power supply in there and two flyback transformers connected in series so the ZVS is driving the transformers and we get the high voltage output. Now comparing to all of the other ZVS drivers, this one is directly the uh, this one is directed at the high voltage. So instead of high current, we're getting high voltage. Very simple. So I'm just gonna show you uh, what we have. So we almost have four inches or nine centimeters. Uh, if you can see that. I think you can see that so there we go the tip ends there so theoretically we should be getting at least uh, 90,000 volts but since the air uh, where I live in Kenda is really dry I'm expecting about 100,000 volts in between two of these electrodes this electrode is the positive and it is wrapped in uh, tape since the corona is appearing on the sharp uh, sides of the lug and uh, we're wasting uh, unnecessary power that should go directly across the spark gap particular power supply isn't really used for anything yet but I will show you what I'm gonna do with it later after the demo so there's nothing uh, really spectacular uh, but Showing this power supply, it's very simple, it's very loud. We just turn it on and it does that. Okay, now in case you're wondering, yes, it is a continuous plasma flow, and I will put my camera closer so you can see it. Right, so I am focused at uh, two electrodes and I will show you again for a sake of a video and you will see a spark when I approach the electrode I don't think you saw that but anyway um, so as you can see we have nine centimeters or almost four inches uh, we're gonna call it three and a half I think that's pretty close so nothing's changed and the power supply is on already I just had to put the ZVS driver on and
So as you see, uh, this power supply is uh, pretty extreme and to be honest, I don't like uh, doing what I'm gonna do, but I will just show you for the sake of the video. So if you touch uh, the second electrode while it's off, you might see a little spark. Oh, <laughs> it's a, a, just a residual charge within two flyback transformers. I believe there is a small capacitor there, uh, but I'm not really sure about that. So uh, don't quote me on that, but as you saw, power supply are working uh, really well and uh, I did promise you guys some high voltage experiments and I did do some but due to the fact that high voltage things are really expensive um, I wasn't able to really you know, get any decent parts but uh, that is about to change so I have a, a piece of aluminium uh, right here and as you can see it's pretty rough it had been cut with the saw but if you polish uh, the other side you end up with uh, this uh, which is pretty cool so this is a polished piece of aluminium uh, which uh, will be used for uh, and you know obviously it's going to be polished uh, more but we have another piece here okay same idea yeah that's my face if you can see it but uh, that's the, the camera or the phone I'm using phone by the way and uh, both pieces go like that and we have high voltage connected to both sides now uh, the purpose of uh, something like this experiment obviously the power supply is going to be here and let's actually move the camera down so you guys can see focus perfect so the purpose of uh, something like this is to have your, uh, let's see, negative and positive, I believe. Don't don't quote me on that, I hadn't really figured this out yet, but I saw it on YouTube and I really want to do some experiments, so that's why I have polished the sides. Essentially, you take two pieces of aluminum like this and uh, what you do is you put a dielectric in between now uh, since the dielectric material obviously you know resists or insulates both plates we uh, pretty much get a capacitor now um, this is this isn't really for a capacitance measurement if you know what I mean so what this will be for is actually measuring the dielectric strength of different materials and uh, I need that because I want to make some my own high voltage capacitors now uh, high voltage capacitors are really expensive and uh, you know either you buy them or you make it yourself so I thought I'm gonna make a um, tester like uh, this and uh, just me measure the dielectric strength of different materials and the different amount of layers and see how it works. I got this uh, pretty cheaply uh, off a local junkyard. Uh, they sell aluminum for uh, it's one dollar per pound. That's pretty cheap. So each piece ends up like dollar fifty or whatever. So that's pretty good. I think so um, I got many other aluminum pieces for making it enclosures and whatever so uh, that can work so okay but this is something I found and something I want for a long time and there we go I got it. so solid piece of aluminum and uh, we're gonna polish it until it shines like a mirror and after it does that uh, we can start experimenting so yeah, if you guys are interested in uh, more things like this video, like experiments and uh, whatnot, uh, just you know, let me know in the comments. I really want to uh, you know, know your opinion. So first things first, I want you to go down below in the comment area and leave a comment if you like this or not. Second thing. I want you to go in the video description and find two links 
which will lead you to part one and part two of building this power supply. Now, the, the reason I say this is uh, it doesn't really take that much to build it. All you need is a old motherboard. I guess you can build this out of a computer. Let's see that. You need a ATX power supply, you need a ZVS driver and the 5x transformers. So uh, you need a two 5x, uh, a ATX and a motherboard so you can get the MOSFETs from it. And that's about it. That's all you need, man. So uh, don't be afraid. Uh, wizard the two videos. Yes, they are one, I know. But uh, it's gonna save you a lot of hassle in the run in the long run if you want to make something like this because it's all had been already done for you. This is why we have this video is to direct you to the right path of making a power supply. Now, two videos are one, I know, but uh, they really go into a depth of how to make it and it really shows the whole system uh, while it's still disassembled so i'm going to cut the power put the power in now so the ac come in and if i turn it around you can see that uh, it's full of uh you know different things there's the atx there's the zvs and there's the two five hundred transformers so, you know, you gotta get your things right. I mean, many hours went into this power supply, so um, everything has been already done for you. All you have to do is watch it and build one yourself. No need for Tesla coil yet. Anyway. Uh, I really hope you guys liked uh, the video. Uh, this was kind of a revision of a old topic. Uh, I really wanted to make this video because uh, the last two videos didn't really go good. So I'm really hoping this one will go good. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, leave a like down below. Also, don't forget to watch those two videos and uh, subscribe to my channel so you, you will know when a new video comes out. Stay tuned for more, more content coming out. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time.